Hello, this is Jason Johnson with T1 Trust, bringing you the 2024 year-end review of everything we had to do this year on the T1. This year, we called it the year of the frame. So this was a year we've been building up for for many, many years now, and finally it's coming to fruition. As you see behind me, I'm standing in front of the frame where I'll give today's report from. We raised more money this year than we've ever raised before. We've also spent more money this year than we've ever spent before. Two good things that we have to maintain and stay on track moving forward in the next four or five years on this to keep this project on track. This year, we also uh, embarked on manufacturing the injectors for this locomotive. This was a big project that no one has done in 70 years. Every operating railroad for the last 70 years has just been using original ones, and there was no new ones on the market to replace them. Unfortunately, we could not find a good one to use for this locomotive, so we decided to build new ones. You'll see the injectors being cast. We have the bodies cast. The internal components and external components are currently being manufactured and we hope to put them on Nickel Plate Road 765 here in the spring and test it out, make sure it's going to work. And then we're actually manufacturing about 10 of them for different operations around the country that have big steam locomotives so they don't have to rely on 70 year old injectors to put water in their boiler. They'll be able to use the brand new ones and then use their old ones as backup. Another project was the air compressors that actually mount to this frame. The proverbial heartbeat of the locomotive when you hear the steam locomotive pulsating away and pumping air. We were able to do some horse trading with several different organizations, including the Steam Railroading Institute and Western Maryland Scenic Railroad. And we're able to acquire two air compressors. Dave Clokey, a longtime friend of the project, he's essentially turning back to the way they originally would have been and give this locomotive its heartbeat that it deserves. Getting back to the frame of the locomotive and this massive project, because this really is the foundation of the entire locomotive. The boiler sits on top of this, the wheels sit underneath of this, all your brake rigging, spring rigging, all your components all get built off of this one component. And I, I call it one component, but it's a lot of subcomponents all welded together to make one 64 foot long, uh, 70,000 pound locomotive frame. The original frame would have been cast as one piece. We can do that. It's just cost prohibitive to do that in today's world that we live in now. It's a much better process to build it up with weldments because we can design everything on the computer, laser tables, cut all the pieces out like a big jigsaw puzzle. Then we can weld it together properly. It'll be just as strong as the original and weigh within 1% of the original frame too. That was an important part for us. We wanted to make sure that the frame was as close to dimensionally and weight as the original one. So no one can come back and say, well, the frame is lighter or the frame is heavier, so on and so forth. We made it within 1% of the original and very happy with that. We get a lot of questions about the, the two I-beams that are down right below this that the frame is sitting on top of. The actual frame is here and you're looking at it right now as it's upside down. As it gets welded, the weld puts stress on it and could warp things. So the frame is actually welded to these I-beams to hold everything straight and square for us so that when this whole thing is done, all dimensions will be within one eighth of an inch of tolerance over a 64 foot long span, which is pretty amazing. And then when this whole frame is done, it'll actually get put into a large oven. The oven is 30 foot wide, 30 feet tall, 100 feet long, heated up to 1120, 1140 degrees, and sit in there for 48 hours. Every weld you see on here will become stress relieved. This steel won't know a difference where that weld joint is or anything. So essentially it becomes one piece frame when it's all said and done on it. We also had the opportunity to take this frame when it was tack welded together over to Altoona for the PR Technical and Historical Society convention for thousands to see. So we hope to continue that on each and every year in the May timeframe and 25 would be no exception to that either. When this frame is complete, a uh, wool have crossed the 50% mark on building this locomotive. So we're excited about that and uh, getting that done. So soon you'll be seeing the, uh, the cylinder club come out and that's to manufacture the four cylinders that get welded to this frame. So the engineering is now complete on those cylinders. We're wrapping up the quoting on that and we'll be launching the cylinder club very soon to allow you, our donors, to make donations to help us get to those cylinders and get that done so that next year sometime we can make those cylinders onto the frame and we'll be in a position where uh, one step closer, we're actually setting a boiler on it and getting to the point of the, the wheels. If funding continues to roll in at the pace that it is and you, our donors, continue to step up and help us out, get there, it is likely in 2026 that we'll be able to see this locomotive sitting on its wheels 
on track with a boiler sitting on top of this frame with the cylinders on it. That puts us well ahead of our target to be completed by 2030. And that's when we want to stay on the pace at this point. So I do ask that you go visit our website at t1trust.org. Consider making a donation, year-end donation, or a donation after the first year to help us out. Also, reoccurring donations are a big part of this. State planning, we've seen it all. We've had people donate Bitcoin or stock to us. We aren't picky at this stage of the game. We'll take it and we'll basically convert your Bitcoin, your cash, your stock, whatever you want to donate, right into making steel for this locomotive so that very near future in the next couple of years, we'll all be able to see this thing chugging down the track. So thanks again for a successful 2024. We are very excited about 2025. I hope to have you along for the ride.